What is up guys, DZ here, and earlier today I talked about Beat Raptor in a video all discussing why that card is decent and what it could be played in, and it goes along with the Dark Neostorm Special Edition because lo and behold that is one of the promos in this set. But this set is very special for another reason, and that's that this is the last product that is going to come out before we start the WCQs. Now this weekend there's the South American WCQs, next weekend we have the North American WCQs, and then European does their WCQs the weekend after that. So the rest of June is just going to be tons of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! It's going to be great. For many players like myself, this is like the big thing that Yu-Gi-Oh! an entire year is paying off for because uh, this is a pretty big uh, month for Yu-Gi-Oh! And it always is and it's always really fun. And this is the very last thing that we get. See, these four cards here, well, three of them are new cards here that we're getting, are the last new cards we're getting before these WCQs. And that's a pretty big deal. And the last one, the fourth one, is pretty cool. It is a reprint of Shooting Riser dragon that's important because europe didn't have that card until now so that's kind of cool and i mentioned before we are kind of running out of jump promos um that that program is ending so we do have a couple more cards that need to be imported into the tsg and to europe but as far as uh next couple years here go we're gonna be out of cards so i don't know what they're gonna start doing because uh for a while now at least one sometimes even two of the promos in these special editions have just been jump cards so that europe could actually play with them but now uh, i don't know what they'll do going forward so here oh sweet we got uh sometimes they they group together together the promo cards which means that we might actually pull one of each promo card that'd be pretty cool but it is exciting here so we have you can see beat raptor and fury of fire i might even try fury of fire at locals tomorrow just to see if it ever comes up but these are the promo cards and oh sweet we actually so we actually did pull one of each promo that is pretty much everything i could ask for so we have fury of fire which i talked about a little bit this is sort of a double monster born with admittedly a pretty big drawback so especially someone up to two salmonite monsters with different names from your hand or your graveyard in defense position but their effects are negated also the rest of this turn after this card resolves you can only special summon from the extra deck once you can only activate one fury of fire per turn so a couple things about this card no it can't get back link monsters because they have to be summoned in defense mode just like will of the salmon great does the same thing but more importantly this card is just like an extra extender if your opponent negates a lot of your cards you can throw this out there and it can summon from your graveyard it can summon from your hand and you can get one last exceed summon or link summon or synchro summon out there probably not synchro summon but you can probably get another link summon out there and it's pretty cool for that situation um we'll have to see if it's actually good though i'm not so sure there's like this weird situation where anytime a salamigrate card is released especially a spell or trap card it has the potential to be good because there's so many ways to see it but it doesn't necessarily mean that it actually is going to be good we recently got an ultra rare in dark neostorm we might pull that today probably not but there's recently been released an ultra it's like a double monster reincarnation which isn't played just because like there's so many other good cards you can play but it is interesting to think about that we have shooting riser dragon really cool looking Card. I like this guy a lot. Sort of all the different Stardust Dragon variants are pretty cool looking, even though this guy isn't technically a Stardust Dragon. Obviously, that's what he's based off of. We have Beat Raptor, which I spent the entire video today talking about, the earlier video today. This card is very cool, and uh, I think a lot of people are maybe not thinking this card is so great. They're maybe undervaluing it a little bit. Um, I really do think this card has some uses, though, especially in a Dinosaur deck, which, like I said, have already been topping regionals, and I would expect that with this card, they're going to play that card as well. And we have uh, Magical Lies Fusion. A couple people pointed out this is not technically a Miracle Fusion. It is a Dragon's Mirror, which is a pretty big difference because uh, this card can, you can banish a whole bunch of cards, summon a big guy, and that's pretty neat. I think Miracle Fusion, I mean, a Miracle Fusion can obviously only summon hero monsters, where this thing is like Dragon's Mirror can summon any spellcaster instead of any dragon. But those are the four promo cards. It's cool pulling all of those. There's a really loud truck in the street. Sorry about that. No one, I don't know. Every time I, I used to bring that up all the time when I do these, op do these openings and be like, does anyone hear the guy in the background? And everyone will always be like, we don't hear anyone in the background. What are you talking about? You're crazy. So I try to not mention them anymore. But that truck is pretty loud, so we'll see. Anyway, we'll open these packs. Not a pack opening channel, but we will open them. Pretty exciting last release of uh, before the WCQs. There aren't that many crazy cards in this set anymore. I mean, Sun Up Mining is good, but not super valuable. Um, Ghost Sister is kind of uh, crashed in price. No materials up there. That's probably the best pull right now. So we have the Altergeist Tuner Monster. 
Emperor Maju Garzat. Altergeist tracks. We got both Altergeist cards. I never got around to making a video about these cards, but uh, they're not very good, I think. Oh my gosh, we pulled all three of the Altergeist cards and some dumb danger card, but we pulled all three of the terrible Altergeist cards. I still get comments from people on that video where I mentioned Haunted Rock not being good from people saying that the card is so broken. I just don't know the combos. I know the combos. It's just if your hand is all... I mean, the, the simple summary is that if your hand already has Marionetter and Multi faker you're probably going to win that game anyway it's just bad in every other situation so it's like not very good um and then the tuner and the synchro are obviously really bad if the tuner was level uh three that'd be pretty good if the synchro was level five that'd be pretty good but neither of those things happened and i, I suppose uh, some people have mentioned there are new altergeist cards that just got announced in the anime which are which is how we learn about these things the first time i have not seen those i have not read those so i don't know how good they are and then we pulled uh, Danger, Excitement, Mystery. Wow, this card is titled like uh, Team Samurai videos. <laughs> What's up, Sam? Uh, so we have, uh, this card is pretty cool. It's like it discards level five or higher Danger Monster to search a level four lower Danger Monster. But you can't special summon monsters from the extra deck <laughs> besides Danger Monsters. You can't even, oh my gosh, not even special summon the extra deck. You literally just can't special summon monsters for us to turn besides Dangers. Oh, that is so bad. But anyway, that's uh, an ultra rare there. Psy Reflector, Super Quantal, Alphacal Appeal, uh, that weird person, and Loud Cloud, the Storm Serpent. Very cool looking card. Not the best card. Now that we've had, every time you open the special editions, you can kind of know by that point if any of the cards have seen play or not. But uh, I mean, when you first start opening the boxes, it's like, Oh, will this card see play? Who knows? And actually, I think I mentioned there's like I have like an entire third box opening of Dark Neostorm that I just like never uploaded. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that video. Maybe I'll just put it in like the background of a normal discussion video just to get some value out of that opening. Uh, Goki the Blade Ogre, uh, Dilling Juris, Dilling Juris. It's not dangerous. It's Dilling Juris. Is that a real word? Dragon Neo Flamvel Lady Chain Hole. Okay. Oh, this cute little thing. Star starring or star staring starling. That is a weird name, but pretty funny artwork. Dino Wrestler Marshall Anga. Super Quantal thing again. This thing again. And this thing again. Oh, wow. I mean, all the packs are stacked. You can get the same three cards right in a row every single time. Broken. These uh, special editions are always pretty good investments if you haven't picked up all the cards from these packs, but uh, as always, you probably should just buy singles or whatever. Uh, that weird card, Crusadia Testament, Magical Musket, Crooked Crown, Super Quantal, Mech Beast, Luster X. Unfortunately, these uh, poor Super Quantals never quite made it into the competitive landscape with this new support. They were competitive when they first came out, but uh, not really since then. It's, it's funny, just so many other non Super Quantal cards are nerfed, and it just makes the deck like unplayable. Like Brilliant Fusion and Chicken Game and uh, E Telly is a big one. Those cards all were really good in that deck, and now they're like limited or banned in some cases. Dino Wrestlers. I mean, Dino Wrestlers have like a fusion, they have links, they have a synchro. What the heck, Dino Wrestlers are crazy. This card's artwork is kind of cool. Tyrant Dino Fusion. Fusion summon Dino Wrestler from your extra deck. Using monsters, you control fusion material. And if you the first time that face someone, I'm just like, oh, I mean, that's kind of cool. Basically, just a polymerization with a slight upside. It is a quick play, though, and that's kind of neat. It's like one Dino Wrestler that people are playing alongside uh, Panko Tops every once, in, every once in a while. I think it might even be. Uh, isn't it? We just pulled on my thought. Is it this guy people are playing? I don't know. Probably not. I thought it was like a level four monster that I've seen in some deck lists. We have uh, Dunner Wrestler, whatever that guy's name is. Goki, the Blade Ogre. Destiny Hero, Draw Hand. Fusion Destiny. Wow, exciting. What the heck is that? TG Halberd Cannon slash Assault Mode. Yeah, I forgot that there were Assault Modes in this pack. What the heck? That is weird. And we got Incantation, Tyrant Dragon Fusion overflow dragon which doesn't really look like a dragon i guess it's a dragon it's kind of far away but i don't know we got a a lot of the um the assault mode support in the set is actually like a, a couple of really good cards for assault modes in the set um and i think in the ocg they actually were kind of experimented with not so much in the uh the tcg though obviously i mean if they, i mean they weren't even experimented with enough to uh, have them get rogue status although admittedly i think the game gets more com most competitive i mean more competitive most competitive whatever near the end of the season here because then people are like really like if you don't have your invite yet you don't want to take uh assault modes to your regionals you want to take like a better deck that gives you a higher chance of actually getting that invite that you've been waiting all year for uh another one of the altergeist cards and for my goes these actually 
Weird. Uh, Lodge's Flame. It's like a, one of the many bad Valkyrie cards. Uh, Super Quantal Union. World Legacy Collapse. Grid Sweeper. Is this is this the right amount of cards in the pack? I think we're one card short. Yeah, we are one card short. I was like, we're missing the rare. We're missing the rare in the pack. Wow. Epic. Misprinted. Pack opening. <laughs> Can you imagine like a, a video title that um, would say if I put like epic, epic misprinted pack opening and like the only misprint was that it was just missing a rare. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Like I, I wouldn't put misprint in the title for when we actually pulled those crazy miscut cards from the Gladiators Assault. I didn't put it in the title for that, but for not pulling a rare, oh, that'll make the title. That's uh, big news. Everyone really cares about not pulling your rare card. Pretty exciting. Oh, Cloudian Aerosol. Man, the Cloudians, they got this e telly but it like requires a discard. Oh, boy. Got the Incantation Originator. That card that I can't pronounce. And another copy of Chain Hole. Wow. We got the, the Danger Equip spell. Danger. Feats of Strength. Pretty exciting. Equip only two Danger Monster against 800 attack and defense. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. It can make up to two attacks and monsters during each battle phase. Oh man, what a broken card. You know, when everyone's complaining about Danger cards being broken, they're not thinking of all the bad ones. Like Danger Feats of Strength and the Danger Excitement, whatever. What? Oh, Alt, Assault Sentinel. That card's pretty cool. And Assault Dex, I believe. Man, it just is a shame that they, I don't know, it's probably for the best of the overall health of the game to not keep releasing Danger Monsters. Um, I think they realized after eight of them that like, they can't keep printing them, so they printed like a ninth and then never again. But man, it is disappointing to see cards like Danger, Excitement, Mystery, and cards like this Equip spell that are just like so much worse than the rest of the archetype. I mean, the first couple Danger Spells and Traps weren't that bad. The the Bouncing one is kind of cool, and then the, the Trap that's a Graceful Charity is kind of cool. But overall, I mean, obviously, people are only playing it for the monster cards for the most part. Um, anyway, though, that is going to wrap up our special edition opening for Dark Neostorm, the very last product before the WCQs. I've said it enough times at this point, but uh, yeah, pretty exciting. I really do like their promo card choices for this, and we'll uh, have to see what comes out later in the summer, see if there's any more co cool cards coming out in the later special editions when they stop, uh, including the jump promos. We'll have to wait and see. I'll see you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.